the edit text tool you can get to that tool in your main toolbar right here edit text or you can go to your construction toolbar and grab it right here edit text whenever you edit text all you need to do is identify the text that you want to edit so let's say I want to edit this text all you have to do is left click on it brings up the text editor with a text inside here and now you just go through here and edit the text the way you need to edit it once you're finished with it and you've got that text edited all you need to do is left click out on the blank screen somewhere and it edits that text. Identify it, edit the text, left click to drop it off, and you're finished. You do have the option in here to edit the height and the width of the text also if you need to do that, or the font if you need to change it. So if you want to utilize those options, you can do that. But like I said, all you have to do is identify the text where you want to edit it edit the text left click on the screen to drop it off and your text is edited so that's using the edit text tool to edit text that is existing out there we can also edit text that is contained inside of a cell which these little dashes right here are called data fields and they are contained inside the cell we can use the edit text tool to edit that text that should be placed inside here that way we don't have to drop this cell and then use other tools to edit that text. We can just use the edit text tool, get a little bit above it, and you'll see it kind of highlight these two little dashes. Left click, you may have to left click again to accept it. And now all we need to do is go up in here, we'll swipe through it, type in 70, we'll say 70 mile an hour speed limit, and then left click out on the screen to accept it. And we have that text placed out there in that cell. So like I said, just left click inside here. Type in the value that you need. We'll say it's 12 miles. Left click to accept it and we're finished. And it keeps that cell intact. So if I come in here and move it, use my move tool, you'll see that my cell is still intact so that you can use the edit text tool to edit those data fields that are contained inside those cells also whenever you're editing your text that needs to be edited.